Hello. And welcome to this video. In this short video, we will quickly overview key points about optic neuritis. So, let's begin. As the name indicate, optic neuritis is the inflammation of optic nerve. By far, the most common form is idiopathic optic neuritis, which is a primary demyelinating disease, occurring in isolation, or as part of multiple sclerosis. Idiopathic optic neuritis, occurs in the absence of evidence of a systemic inflammatory disease. When in isolation, primary demyelinating optic neuritis, is considered a form thrust of multiple sclerosis. Optic neuritis, manifests as the subacute, or acute onset of pain, in the eye, and pain with eye movements, and loss of vision, typically with central scotoma, that usually reaches a nadir at approximately 1 to 2 weeks. Optic neuritis, recovers over several months, with possible reduced visual acuity, but seldom severe. Optic neuritis, may involve the retrobulbar, or the intrabulbar portion of the optic nerve, or both. The former one is called retrobulbar neuritis, and the later, is known as, papillitis. In papillitis, you may find papilledema as well. Investigations, including MRI of the brain, can help to predict the risk of conversion to MS, and can dictate early intervention, with disease-modifying treatments, like interferon beta, and glutirmer acetate. These reduces the risk of conversion to MS. Acute treatment for idiopathic optic neuritis, includes high-dose oral, or intravenous corticosteroid. And this is it for this video. Please like this video, if you like the content. And subscribe to this channel as well to get notified, whenever a new video is uploaded here.